Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video in the, the communication series. Now, the other day I posted a video about my scanner of choice and a scanner is of course a one-way device, right? A scanner receives information and the one that I talked about in my video uh, picks up uh, military air chatter, uh, marine chatter, or emergency services and that kind of thing. Which is important because uh, if and when the grid goes down and the internet is down and cell phones are down, you need to know what's going on around you, above you, and so forth, right? Now, that scanner can receive ham radio, uh, but I also have a dedicated ham radio in my bagger bag, and that's this one. This is, uh, and you can read the name right here, some people call it Bufwang, so people call it Baofang, I really don't know how it's pr pronounced, but anyway, there's the name. The model is the UV5RTP. Now, this is not a technical video because there are tons of videos on this device. It's a practical one. Uh, why is it not a technical one? Because I'm not a technical guy. I don't know all the details. What I do know, though, is that this is the radio of choice for many, many, many people. It's super, super cheap and it's a very, very powerful, right? So that's why I got it. Now, I did exchange the uh, antenna. This is a screw on antenna and it comes normally with uh, where did I put it right here normally with this little rubber ducky thing right and I exchange it with this thing you don't have to but it increases the range quite a bit and uh, yeah I like it right Okay, so let's say you pick up one of these radios. Well, first of all, if you want to use it as a transmitter, you need to have a license to do so in almost every country that I'm aware of. Listening, however, does not require a license. In some countries, I believe there are certain frequencies that are also free to use for transmitting. I think they're called family frequencies or something in the US, so I'm not sure. So make sure you check that out. And what you do in an emergency situation is up to you, okay? Now, can you use this to, let's say, talk to your neighbor or talk to a team member, like a walkie-talkie type deal? Yes, you can. I use it because I wanna be aware of what's going on. Now, how do you program this thing, right? Well, there's a cable with it for charging and you can use that cable to connect it to your PC as well. What you do is you go to a website called radioreference.com. You type in where you live and it will give you a list of all the repeaters that are in your area. Now, repeaters are basically radio stations where signals bounce off of, to say it in a very horrible, non-technical way, right? Now, um, so that list can then be loaded up into a free software called Chirp, and that Chirp software allows you to put all those frequencies into the radio. It's a super easy thing to do, uh, even if you're not technical. And again, there are tons of videos on how to do that as well. I'll put all the links below so you know where to find the radio reference and the Chirp and all that, right? Okay, how do you charge this? You can charge it with a USB cable. or you have one of these and of course you know how that works and this actually comes with the unit now I bought two units at once and uh, not that I have to per se but they were literally so cheap that I thought hey why not and let me tell you this is not a sponsored video in any way Okay, so I did all that. I went to radio reference. I uh, went to chirp. I did all the stuff and now the frequencies are in the radio. Okay, so uh, how good is it? Well, it's quite good because uh, right now I'm sitting in my living room and I promise you that I will immediately pick up something, right? If I'm outside, it's way better. And of course, you can take this antenna off and put a wired antenna into it, or maybe, a, let's say, a, a car antenna or something that you put on the roof of your vehicle with a magnet, right? Okay, so what I do is I turn this guy on with this knob right here, and then I hold down the star key and it will start scanning all frequencies for incoming messages or incoming info. Now, 
because I'm in the Netherlands, you're going to hear people talking Dutch and the chances are you have no idea what they're saying, but it doesn't matter. It's just to demonstrate, you know, how it works. So here we go. I'm going to turn on the, uh, the device, uh, raise the volume a little bit and push on that key. Okay, here we go. It's running through the frequencies right now. I'll uh, raise the antenna up just a little bit. Well, you get the idea, right? So it works quite well. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the price was on these, but they were very, very cheap. It's a very solid build. It has a clip on the back here, and it also has a little uh, stringy thing if you want to put that on. So yeah, it's a kind of a no-brainer, right? And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. There are tons of possibilities if you want to get into it. Uh, putting in name tags and programming channels manually and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not even going to go there. I just uh, put this in my bag out bag and I got something to use if I have to, right? Okay, that's it from me. Uh, I'll put all the links below as promised. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And if you haven't just yet and you want to see more content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Okay, bye.